Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Here is basic Sorgonomics for April 24th, 2015. Uh, please subscribe to Sorgatron.com and the YouTube channel or find us on iTunes, wherever that may be, so you don't miss an episode. And please rate us on iTunes as well. I understand that helps a lot in, in people discovering a show like this. I'd really appreciate it if you take a minute. You don't have to just do mine. While you're in there, just like once in a while, go on that iTunes. If you don't use iTunes, it's just a strange thing that apparently uh, if you get high ratings in iTunes, uh, that will actually help your discovery on other platforms that kind of scrape off of that iTunes feed, you know. Uh, so if you want to help out your podcast, just just take a moment to put a star in there. Or, or if you want to write a comment, say, hey, I think it's good. It's cool, you know, and move on. And do it for all the podcasts you're listening to. Support everything. Uh, because most aren't really getting paid for this or, 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 you know, just trying to get the word out there. Uh, today I want to talk about Twitter. We're going to have 10 minutes on Twitter, guys. Twitter. And that's how we're going to say it now. Twitter. Um, we talked about, I brought this up on the mini awesome cast last week. Twitter has a new front page. And uh, some other discussion that's happening today got me thinking about this. And, and, and they're really kind of, it used to be, hey, this is Twitter. Sign up now. Yay. And that was it. And I, I made a discussion. I, I made a comment about how, you know, I used to do, and I'm, do, I'm going back to do a little bit of this too. We did some uh, teaching of social media, very 101 basic courses uh, with PodCamp Pittsburgh with the local library system. And uh, it was always hard. So why do I want a Twitter? What is the, the point of this anymore? And of course, the general uh, talk is like, hey, well, Twitter is kind of like a giant cocktail party. And you're just kind of screaming in the middle of co cocktail party and then try to draw people's attention to you. That's one way of looking at it. It's not the way of looking at it, but it is kind of a stream of consciousness. I mean, that's how I kind of interpret it. I got my ideas. I stick it out there. I try to get in there and see whatever pe other people are talking about. And I glance in every once in a while. And and the other, the other, you know, look, the other problem with it, you know, like I was having a conversation the other day with somebody's boss doesn't understand why, like, I don't want to put, I don't want to post more than once a week on Twitter because I don't want to scare our followers away. Oh, it doesn't work that way, buddy. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, it seems, and, and tell me if you don't, but it seems that most of the times you don't see everything in your Twitter feed. You dive into the river for a little bit, take in a little bit, and you uh, and you move on. You know, it's a glance unless you have a Pebble Watch or, or, or notifications on your phone. You know, I pick several people that I want to get every notification from, so I don't miss what they say, and they come to that. And hopefully, you don't have too many of those, right? My your your Pebble wouldn't stop buzzing if you just turned it on for everything. I used to do the same thing with text messages uh, when that was the way to tweet when I had a flip phone, right? Um. But they're obviously trying to make it more useful for the person that doesn't get that kind of existential concept. You know, we talked about this front page that they have going on. See what's happening right now. Find a community conversation, inspiration about the things you love. And the thing is with Twitter is it's not like locked into I go to this group here and I hang out here on Facebook or Google+. It's really everywhere. It's an open conversation. And uh, but there's kind of these ways to to guide everything into a Twitter list, which is something they don't really push a lot. Uh, those, that's more of a power user thing going on right now, right? Um, or or going in a search and say, I want to know everything about WWE Raw is one thing that we do around here to keep an eye on what's going on Monday nights, respond to things, and that's how we grow our community for the Wrestling Mayhem show, for instance. Um, again, we could do the same, you know, uh, have one that's less useful about Apple and tech and Microsoft and all that stuff. That's something we could talk about with the awesome cast. You know, whatever your thing is, if you're if you're a non-profit nonprofit dealing with hunger issues then you can you can have hung like any keywords that have to deal with hunger is hunger and, and and nonprofits and and maybe homelessness or something like that you know you can do that and you can see if there's any conversation for you to that will inform you or that you can get in on and this is a little bit what they're doing they're they're putting their stuff into buckets and they're featuring some stuff like we can go in here and uh you know let's see what we got what we got pop artists space news and publications that sounds fun and you see it's featuring you know some higher end one space flight now esa um you know stuff like that and it goes into these um um, categories, you know, even under technology and science, we can get into tech blogs and reporters, for instance. And there's Venture Beat, there's the Wall Street Journal Digital. Uh, you know, it, it's it's it, it shows that this can be your newsreader, and a lot of people do use this instead of you know, uh, that's interesting. Thank you, Engadget, for that one. Um, 
this can be your replacement and it did replace for a lot of people their newsreader as far as um, um, Google Reader for instance uh, maybe they didn't, I've moved on to Feedly I like that that can kind of curate that a little bit better um, but this is an option so you, so you don't miss anything and then there's these new features that are coming up uh, you guys have probably noticed the while you're away digest that's come up as you load the app on your iPhone or Android um, I think that's that's helpful it lets you know what's the big conversation so you can get on the big conversations so if you're not you don't want to know what everybody's talking about it's not just the little niches uh, it's it's kind of nice to be able to do that um, they just were talking about um, you can put on this is the start on the Android app apparently but you can opt in to something where um, it will actually send you a notifi notification, I guess they set it for once a day, that's a digest of everything people are talking about. You may notice you already get notifications that say, hey, a lot of people are talking about WW Raw, hashtag WW Raw right now on Twitter, and you can jump into that and jump into that feed. It does the search for you because it knows you know, it sees what your friends are talking about, or you see, you know, it'll tell me, hey, this friend and this friend, who maybe two friends are not even connected with each other, really, um, tweeted the same picture, retweeted the same thing. You can see, like, well, what are those two into? So Twitter's doing a real interesting job to kind of re-engage you and keep you in the platform, and which is, you know, it's not, I want to say it's not sticky, but it's, it's, it's too easy to forget about if you're not completely all in on Twitter. Um, so, and, and it is such a wide open tool that you can use in so many ways. I mean, some of us, you know, I, some of my own accounts, just because I don't have time to kind of curate them, um, are really just, just stuff, just, just, uh, 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 announcements and check this out. And there's not much of an engagement factor there that happens on other accounts that happens on the personal account that happens on certain podcasting accounts, you know, um, or it's something I have to schedule throughout the week. So there's no time to engage, uh, for a certain clients because they just don't have the time for me to be on, you know, or for them to be on. And, uh, which is not the best way to use Twitter, I think in my philosophy of Twitter, but, but it is, it, it is, um, you know, one of the ways to, at least you've got information out there that's being found, that's discoverable, and uh, you have some, some options for people to uh, maybe engage with you throughout the week with that, and unfortunately, I, I check it out on Monday, so, so let me know, what are you guys, what do you guys do on Twitter, what do you think about some of this new stuff, I know some of you guys have been on Twitter, I mean, you know, we started back in the day when Twitter was, was what I'm eating is is the joke, you know? And wh well, why would anybody want to know that? We're just tweeting on toilet and all this stuff. And uh, and oh well, yeah, but as our friend Douglas Durda predicted, social media way back in 2004 in that CNET article. Go over to the Awesome Cast uh, Facebook. I'm not uh, the 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 YouTube. We have a clip of that talking about that. Uh, uh, an old text America. His 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 text blog that he started on way back in the day when when that's what we had. Um, but go check that out. It, it, and it's it's really grown and and Twitter's kind of turned into this big platform that you know it's interesting to see these big Today shows and at midnight uh, really kind of uh, working on the platforms uh, with their shows. Let me know what you think. Comments, questions. How are you using Twitter? That may be outside the box a little bit. Let me know about those on uh, Sorgatron.com, on the YouTube video, or wherever you found this uh, video or audio version of Basic Sorgonomics. I'll be back Tuesday with the weekly challenge, and I hope you are signing up for our Sorgatron Media Creators newsletter. The best way to get to that is over at Sorgatron.com, and uh, that's where... You will get uh, my favorite stuff from the week that we've recorded So we because we do so much. Events coming up. I'm going to be speaking uh, in Wexford next Thursday doing a, I don't know, doing a how to do a how to video. You pay a couple bucks and you actually get some juice up in that. And uh, also uh, to be announced very soon, I'm going to be doing a series of video for nonprofits at the Carnegie Library and work on hopefully something for filmmakers in the near future as well. And keep an eye out. Uh, I will, under the radar, tell you, keep uh, mid-August open for PodCamp Pittsburgh X. There should be an email coming out very soon to save the date for that August 15th. You got the scoop, guys. You got the scoop. But it's that weekend, so mark that out in your calendars right now so you don't miss a thing. It's going to be real big for the tenure. So until next time. 
show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.